I'm working on improving the steering on my Gladiator. I've already installed the Synergy track bar and sector shaft brace, and that really did make an improvement. Before I did that install, there was a lot of play in the steering wheel, and it just wasn't as tight and responsive as I wanted it to be. Now that I have that dialed in, the next thing I'm going to try is this. This is the Falcon Nexus 2.2 steering stabilizer, and I'm hoping it will improve the handling of my Gladiator on the road. Let's get it installed and find out. You don't have to raise the Jeep, but it makes it easier to turn the wheel to get access to the bolts on the tie rod. If you don't raise the Jeep, you can disconnect the axle side of the track bar. The steering stabilizer is connected to the tie rod and front axle. Remove the three 18mm bolts on the end of the tie rod. You'll need to push the passenger side tire out to access the bolt closest to the tire. The bolt connecting the stabilizer to the bracket is easier to remove after the stabilizer is removed. Use a 13mm socket to remove the three bolts on the axle bracket. A 6 inch socket extension made it easier to access the top two bolts. The Falcon stabilizer looks so much better than the stock stabilizer. Here's where I had my first problem. You can see in the picture that the soft setting is straight up and down, but on mine the soft was facing towards the ground. I had to turn the handle to what I guessed was soft and twist the shaft until the soft side was in the correct position. Apply the provided red thread locker to the three 13mm bolts and install the Falcon stabilizer to the axle bracket. There are two brackets and a spacer provided that will secure the stabilizer to the tie rod. One bracket goes on top of the tie rod and the other on the bottom. If you have a stock track bar, the spacer goes in between the top bracket and the tie rod. If you have a TerraFlex track bar, the spacer goes in between the bottom bracket and the tie rod. The instructions say to adjust the wheel until the steering stabilizer eyelet fits into the bracket and aligns with the bracket holes. However, even with the wheel turned as far as it could go, it wouldn't line up because the stabilizer is fully extended. Mine was so stiff that even on the soft setting, I couldn't compress it. So I had to put the eyelet into one of the other bolts and turn the wheel in to compress the stabilizer. After that, I was able to align the eyelet and insert the bolt. The installation is complete, but I found a problem. I have an ARB diff cover that is thicker than stock, and the stabilizer is hitting the cover when I turn the wheel completely to the left. I wasn't able to find a solution, but it doesn't appear to be affecting the performance of the stabilizer. It's been a few days since I installed the Falcon steering stabilizer. I've been driving around town and on the highway, and I can honestly tell you I feel a significant difference in how the Jeep is handling. The Synergy track bar and sector shaft brace reduce that excess play in the steering but the Falcon Steering Stabilizer has the Jeep feeling more solid and predictable going down the road. It's wandering less and I'm not having to make constant micro adjustments even on windy days. It has three settings but before I talk about those, if you enjoyed this video, uh, subscribe so you don't miss my next install and review. Also leave a comment if you found your own mods to help improve the handling of your Jeep. As far as the settings, there's three. The soft, medium, and firm. The soft setting is meant for off-road, and honestly, I didn't feel a difference between the soft setting and the stock steering stabilizer. The medium setting is meant for off-road and driving around town. It does feel significantly stiffer than the stock steering stabilizer, but still felt good in my opinion. And that's where I'll be leaving mine most of the time. The firm setting is meant for long highways driving and is substantially stiffer. In my opinion, it's too stiff.
to use when you're driving around town, but it did feel good on the interstate. So overall, I'm happy with the upgrade of the stabilizer. Uh, the only issue I'm having is that it, it is hitting my ARB diff cover, but it doesn't appear to be affecting the operation of the stabilizer. So as far as my recommendation, I feel that the combination of the Synergy track bar and sector shaft brace along with the Falcon stabilizer substantially improved the overall feel of my Gladiator and I'm happy with it. It got it how it got a feeling how I like, you know, tighter, uh, more responsive. And, and if you like that, um, I think that these mods would work out well for you.